Yo, what up world, fam? I'm 2 King Paul, coming out with another video, man. Hey, first and foremost, happy new year to everybody out there. Man, I hope that y'all have a blessed new year. I hope that whatever goals you set for yourself, you achieve those goals. I know a lot of people reached out to me, they said, for the new year, Paul, I wanna stop smoking weed. Like, I want that to be it. We've got a couple of more months, a month or so left in 2023, and I decided for 2024, I don't want to smoke weed anymore. So I pray that y'all stay strong on that battle because it's going to be a battle. It's going to be up and downs. You may relapse. You may fall back, man. You may go through your different little ups and downs of life in general during that time, but just stay strong. Uh, speaking of resolutions, for the new year, I said I'm going to start doing personal training. I had a lot of people reach out to me because they see me post on social media, like me in the gym, working out, working out with other people, and they've asked me, can I help them? So, of course, man, I'm like, okay, man, if I got all these people to keep on reaching out and asking for help, I'm going to get in there and start doing some personal training. So, I just started doing that here recently. I had this one young man reach out to me. He's not much younger than me. He's about a year or two younger than me. And uh, I hadn't talked to this dude in probably over 10 years since college when I went to school down at University of Kentucky, right? And he reached out to me. He's like, pal, you know, I want to put on some weight. I'm trying to bulk up. Uh, and, you know, we started talking about fitness, but one thing led to another, and he started telling me about his personal life. And he told me that he's really having a struggle with smoking weed or trying to stop smoking weed. Uh, he had some legal stuff going on that started because he had a bunch of weed. Um, so just try, without telling too much of his information, just trying to set the background of this video. So he told me that, you know, he... Back in the day, because I, I remember him always being a hooper, man. I remember him always hooping. He was very athletic. Uh, man, he loved playing basketball. That's all he really did outside of, you know, the time that I saw him was play basketball. And he told me, man, you know, I was really athletic back then. I weighed 180 pounds in high school. You know, now I'm at 150. And, you know, he said, I, I really – most of my life was centered around sports up until I started hanging around y'all. I was like, you know, what do you mean, man? He said, uh, you know, when I came to school, y'all was the cool older guys. You know, y'all was, y'all knew everybody. Everybody knew y'all. And, you know, just hanging around y'all, I started smoking weed. And I know he didn't say this to try to, like, guilt or shame me, but I definitely felt horrible hearing that, man, because I'm like, dang, you know, this, this guy was looking up to us. And I, it made me think, you know, how many people are looking up to you? Like, we can all do what we want to do. We all grown, you know, we can all do what we want to do. It's your life, you live it how you want to. So if you want to smoke weed, smoke weed. But you got to be cognizant. And that's one thing I really never thought about is how many people was watching me during that time. Like, that was just one, sto one story, but I look back, like, how many of my little cousins would, you know, see me or uh, smell me uh, having a weed smell on me. How many of them would see me smoke, you know, over the years? How many people that I influenced, not even really thinking about it like that, like I got people who's looking up to me, people who I'm having influence over. And it made me think about, you know, my first time smoking weed. I, like I told y'all before, I hear my, the age I started along, you know, earlier on in my videos for a long time I hit my age and I started just because I didn't want to encourage anybody but man I was 12 years old first time I smoked weed and it really came from me watching my cousins watching my my uh some other older people inside of my family smoke weed uh just being curious man just as a young man you just curious and you watch people when you look up to people like I really looked up to my cousins man I really looked up to them they were you know, I, I, they were so cool to me. You know, they had all the girls, they were fly. And, you know, I seen them smoking weed. So I'm like, shoot, you know, I, this is something that I want to try out. So the first time that I smoked was with my cousins, man. And I'm going to tell you that, you know, I, I look back over life and it's a lot of different things where I would look at older people around me and I would, you know, see them doing, I'll give you another example, like black and males, black and male cigars. I would see... One of my older cousins, not 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 the same cousins, but one of my older cousins, I would look at him and he would be, you know, loosening up the black and male, taking out the filter paper, putting the tobacco back in there and all that. And, you know, it was just so interesting to me. And I remember thinking at that time, I can't wait until I get older so 
I can loosen up. I can freak my black and male. We call it freaking it. I don't know what y'all call it, where you're from, but you take all the tobacco out, take the filter paper out, put the tobacco back in, and then you smoke it. And um, it, I think it's really just so it hits harder. I'm not really sure what the reason is, but it was always cool to me watching it. So as soon as I got old enough to where I could go and buy my own black and males, I went and bought my own black and males. But I say this to say that you never really know who's watching you. You know, we can make whatever decisions that we want to in life, but you never think about who's watching you. I got a four-year-old son, and he sees me working out all the time, so he exercises every single day in his own way. Of course, he's not doing, you know, anything too crazy, but he has little tiny dumbbells. He lifts those around, and he tries to do push-ups and sit-ups and just anything that he sees his daddy do, he wants to do. Man, I can remember back in, you know, when I was younger, man, and I don't stand for it at all at this point. I call somebody up, somebody out on it in a heartbeat if I see it in today's world. But like back when I was younger, I can remember going over people's house and, you know, they'll be rolling up smoking weed and they got young children inside of the house with them, watching them. They be into the same room with their children while they're smoking weed. And I just think about it, man. I'm like, you know, if your children are watching everything that you do, you got to know that they're watching you do that, too. And it don't you don't even have to have children. Like I said, you could just be around cousins. You can be around other people who look up to you. We don't really realize, because we're always inside of our own mind most of the time, you don't realize how many people actually look up to you, how many people you are influencing. No, no matter what you think, no matter what you think, you can think that, you know, nobody's looking, up, nobody's looking at me. Nobody's paying me any attention. Man, people... There is somebody in this world who's looking up to you. There is somebody in this world who you are influencing. So if you want to smoke weed, if you want to do your thing, man, do your thing. But you got to find a way to keep it to yourself and not put it out around other people. Like I said, this was back in college where the dude that hit me up. And I'm thinking, shoot, I'm 18 years old. Ain't nobody looking up to me. Now, I'm probably 19. He's probably, he's probably 17, 18 at the time because there were some younger people in college too. But... You know, I, I'm not thinking that there's somebody who I'm influencing. And here we are over a decade later, how much his life was impacted by, you know, me and my, my, my social circle, my group of friends, you know, smoking. And, you know, we, we kind of setting the tone for what cool is. So if people see us smoking weed, then they're going to want to smoke weed. If people see us doing our studies or whatever, they're going to want to do their studies or whatever. But... And I'm not saying that this guy wouldn't have smoked, found another way to smoke anyways, or somebody else wouldn't have influenced him, but it never makes you feel good as a person to know that you had uh, an influence on somebody that, that changed their life in such a way to where over a decade later, you know, he's going through all these legal troubles and stuff where we, you know, can't having, uh, 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 you know, self-admittedly saying that he's addicted and he wants to stop smoking weed, you know, and um, losing a bunch of weight. You know, I made a video about that before, man, how much weight. I lost when I was smoking weed. So, you know, I just want y'all to keep this in mind as you watch this video. And I want to just leave y'all with a question before I end this video. Who's watching you? I want you to really think about it. Like, who's watching you? Even if you don't have kids. Like, who's watching you? Somebody is around you. Somebody is paying attention to you. And if you're choosing to smoke weed and you're choosing to do these certain things inside of life, man, you just got to learn how to keep it away. You know, it's a lot of people that, uh, you know, they play the streets, man. They play the streets. And, you know, they may do certain things and they say, I'm always going to keep it away from home, keep it away from home. But I'm going to tell you something that I know for sure and for certain. I don't care if you go out and sell dope in the streets and then you try to come back home and be clean. Eventually, your habits will come and be knocking on the door of your home. Whatever it is that you're doing, it eventually finds its way home, man. So I just want to leave that with y'all. I ain't trying to put down nobody. I ain't trying to tell you stop smoking weed and none of that. I'm just saying to be cognizant, man, to, to, to keep in mind that as you're doing what you're doing, that somebody could possibly be watching, especially if you got kids, man. Just keep that in mind. You know, wait till they're away. Wait till whatever, you know, times where they're not going to see you do that. They're not going to smell mom or daddy walking around smelling like weed with red eyes, man. It's 502 King Paul. Hey. I love y'all. I got more videos coming soon, man. Been very busy. I'm going to share some good news with y'all in just a little bit. But I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Till next time, I'm out of here, man.